Welcome to a code report solution video. This is going to be a quick solution video for problem one of the hacker rank 101 hack 55 contest entitled swapping in an array. The problem states Sophisco has an array A with n positive integer elements. Sophisco likes order, so he wants his array to be sorted. A sorted array is an array that contains non-decreasing elements and increasing index order. He decides to swap two elements in the array to make his array sorted. A swap is defined as switching two elements at distinct locations in the array. Your task is to determine if this can be done. If he can't sort the array with one swap, print negative one. If the array is already sorted, print zero, and if he can sort the array with one swap print one complete the function swap to sort which takes in an integer array a and returns either negative one zero or one so this problem is slightly similar to a problem uh, previously in a hacker rank contest called impressing the boss which basically reduced down to seeing if you could sort an array with only changing one element so this is a twist on that and it's basically asking can you sort an array uh, by swapping two elements so note that the constraints of this problem are that the length of our array a is going to be less than a thousand and this is super helpful because it means that we're just going to be able to brute force in order to solve this problem so let's take a look at the examples that hacker rank provided us with so here are the three examples. Our first one, uh, we have an array of length five. That's what the five represents. And then the values, the five values of the elements in our array. So you can note that this array is not already sorted. Uh, but if we swap the elements, uh, the second element and the last element, the 10 and the 3, we can end up with a sorted array. So uh, for this example, we want to output 1 because we are able to sort the array with one swap. For our second example, we can see that our array is already sorted. So we just need to check, is it sorted? And after we find that it is, we output 0. And for our last example, uh, it's too jumbled up. There is no one single swap that is going to be able to result in us uh, sorting this array so for this example we want to output negative one so as I mentioned before this is going to be a pretty straightforward problem we don't really need to look at any visual explanations of how to solve it it's just a straightforward uh, brute force solution and uh, let's skip to that right now so here is our function swap to sort it takes a vector of integers a which is our array and we are going to return an integer either one zero or negative one depending on whether it's already sorted we're able to sort it with one swap or if it's not sortable with one swap so right at the top of our algorithm we are just going to return zero if our array is already sorted so there is an stl algorithm called is sorted you just pass to that the uh, first uh, iterator pointing to the beginning of the range and then the past the last uh, element and this will return us true or false whether or not it's sorted so this takes care of the case where our array is already sorted then we are just going to set n to be equal to the size of our array and have a nested for loop uh, where we loop from i equals 0 to n and then from j equals i plus 1 so the element after i uh, to n and what we're going to do is we're going to swap those two elements and so uh, we're going to do this for every pair and if after swapping any two elements we find that our array is now sorted we just return one and if we're able to make it through this nested for loop uh, swapping every single element and at no point is it sorted we know that it's not possible to and so we just return at negative one uh, so that's your whole algorithm it's useful if you know this is sorted function up front um, but yeah that's sort of the the whole algorithm uh, so the last thing to talk about is the time complexity which is going to be cubic because we have a nested for loop uh, each of these are going to be linear and so that makes that quadratic and then inside here the is sorted function is linear as well as always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.